Hi, in the second step of my tower tutorial, I will try to continue from the previous point that I stopped after I finished the tower model. I will try today to make the uh, curtain system here. So um, let's start doing that. Uh, that's my previous file that I ended with in um, step one. And as you can see, I made sure that those two bigger sides of the divided surfaces are having actually 50 U grids and 10 V grids, while the other smaller edges are actually having 50 and in the U and 5 and the V. Anyway, so I will go here. And in the new, I'll make conceptual mass. And as long as we have hexagonal here, no, sorry, I need to go new family and here yeah, metric curtain panel based and select this pattern and change it to match the one that you are actually working in the conceptual mass which is hexagonal select and create a solid and make sure it's a solid not a surface let's make it 10 millimeter enough and then select it and then add a glass to it here in the material um, again it didn't take it so make sure that when you deselect you see that uh, it's actually a transparent material like that otherwise you know you need to notice that in the beginning it didn't take the material correctly i'll create a point here and see when i click and i move my hand it didn't show it's okay just hit escape you're gonna see the point you don't need to add more than one point set the reference plane here and use four edges here and I'm gonna make a rectangle here that represents the intersection of Of the million let's say like uh, 40 mil then select the entire shape or actually here the path and with the control select the cut shape and then go to create form it's a really good idea to save that so you don't need to redo it again so just name it And then load it into the project. And if you notice that I saved the file and I named it as a step one, so it's a good idea to save again before you change or add actually the adaptive component. So I'll just name it step two. Select this and in the pattern you're gonna find this new hexa adapter that we just made and here it might take some time it depend on how fast your machine is so you'll just be patient it's actually replacing every small uh, hexagonal part of the <clears throat> of the pattern and it's actually gonna replace the glass panel and around it it's gonna make uh, the mullion so just be patient See, now it's actually 
adding that to the glass panel and make that that's excellent lines actually are created just because the surfaces are curved so it's assume it's actually been divided into some elements they're not going to be appear if this are a continuous uh, the plane of uh, planner actually uh, co planner surfaces it's not a horizontal element it's not a plane it's actually a curved uh, surface so that's it's actually need some some here uh, like a segments to create the curvature you can take more than one <clears throat> pattern at the same time oops uh, this one this one with control of course and this and replace them one shot one kill so you need to keep boring yourself by keep selecting one by one So I may pause this and then finish and repeat and, and, and cancel the pause and resume after we actually the laptop. I don't want to waste your time, so I'm kind of here. Now you can see that uh, again after we uh, waited like uh, 30 minutes, my old machine, you can see that it's uh, actually added that component to the entire to the entire surface now the tower is ready to be sent to the project environment but before again I highly recommend it to save it's a good idea if you saved it so save and now I'm gonna create new project file the architecture templates and with control and tab I will return to the conceptual mass and now I'm gonna hit load into the project and again um, it's actually gonna take a couple of uh, seconds or even a couple of minutes it depend on how fast your machine is uh, you are you actually have to be some some kind of patient with it uh, don't keep clicking uh, several times if the machine lags uh, that depend again on what type of uh, machine you have because if if it's too slow just even in a normal condition even in a good machine sometimes it's uh, really delay while adding the entire tower to your project it, it is it's not a simple small piece of furniture uh, that can the VGA can show it immediately to you while you are uh, trying to add it so it might cause some problem don't be happy trigger and keep clicking anyway I'm gonna pause again until it's loaded now it has been loaded as you can see and when I go to the 3d it's actually loaded the entire conceptual uh, family to the rivet project environment and you can see the adaptive component that we made is actually placed correctly I'm just gonna shade it so you can see it's the only physical real uh, elements that's been created the rest is still ghosty shape that's mean it's still not uh, not finalized and it still need you to change this conceptual mass into uh, you know into like a, a, a physical uh, architectural element so I'm gonna go to massing and from the wall and you can just click here you can pick whatever type of wall you want I just uh, don't care just uh, select this and with this generic 200 mil now it's actually you see 
it's actually a, a building now so to make sure just turn off the from the massing inside turn off that shore mass and you're gonna see that's uh, you get the external shell of the entire tower is ready for you now I can turn it on again and I'll go to any elevation let's go north for example and uh, I'll drag that in out oh, sorry and I'm gonna select that and make a ray and I'm gonna push uh, a 4000 and I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's associative and my that jump it's actually to the second position and uh, I don't know how many 70 so let's make them 70 yeah too much yeah I'm lazy here to do the math you can do the math straightforward and instead of like doing what I'm doing now make 40 maybe now I'm almost there now 45 so we have to remove one two and three and that's the final thing it's uh, 42 so now I have the levels required up to 73 and they the increment is actually each 4000 so now I can go to the 3d and actually select the mass and then mass floors and I'm gonna pick from the first one and holding shift select the last one and then tick and I'm gonna make a conceptual mass actually it's a mass of flooring now it's finished I just had to pause again so no more delay by the time now it's actually a, a, f a conceptual floors here if you see and the final step is to select floors here and you just uh, all of them and I'm gonna create a 400 mil or whatever whatever type just pick the type that you like and then hit create and it's gonna generate a physical real slabs here and each conceptual slab or conceptual floor that you picked as you can see and that's uh, a technically finish the, the job so far and all you need now is probably to make a slab here if you want or just to leave it anyway and just to turn off the show mass so you have your building ready for you if you can see this actual or physical concrete 160 mil slabs is separated and you have your towers uh, within I don't know how much it took us to both step one and step two I think it was like uh, 20 minutes or less and the lovely thing is you can control what types or how many levels you want uh, for sure in this type of architecture you need each level is to have a floor plan for it because there's almost no typical here so again in case if you don't know how so just go to view and plan views floor plan and then just select them all if it's any type of any possibility of having typical just pick maybe one from each five or one from each ten because having too much floors actually gonna slow down the machine significantly as the more views 
that you have here and the floor copy from them and the reflective ceiling plan and that can make you know like as you can see see how much again open this again you can make another 10 here when you actually finish the design and that's uh, really really can be a, a time consuming the process anyway i wish that uh, tutorial was helpful for you i will uh, i will